g'day fellow moto hooper loggers are about an ever on uh, some mocky the Suzuki Bandit on this uh, Wednesday afternoon um, I've been on the chilly side um, winter is raising its ugly head <laughs> um, what would it be about probably about 19 degrees something like that so what do I have for you well it's the silly season folks every man and his dog is bringing their repairs in just before Easter and uh, if you want anything major done well you just can't do it there's no room to do it there's no time to do it and uh, people just don't realize this that the bike shop that I go to is well basically the only one out here in the north so pretty much everything comes to us now um, all the others are closed down or, or retired or whatever um, so yeah um, it happens every Easter people come in oh, at the last minute wanting to get something for their bike and haven't got the part or what or whatever uh, we don't carry everything um, we're not a Honda dealer we're not a Suzuki dealer we're not a uh, Yamaha dealer we're not a Kawasaki dealer but they all, all seem to expect that you got their parts um, some things yes oil filters oil um, air filters that sort of thing yes we carry a lot of that but but not not a lot of uh, parts that will fit um, different bikes like if I want to go and get uh, something for the bandit here I just it, it has to be ordered in and uh, of course I apologize for the wind noise it's pretty windy today uh, so yeah, um, so what did I do on the weekend? Well, went to Murray Bridge and um, went to a, uh, a, friend, a friend's 75th birthday and uh, yeah, I was uh, wanting to ride but we couldn't because it was wet but gee, what a good what a good turnout and uh, what a good uh, good lunch it was. It was uh, excellent, very very good. Plenty to drink, plenty to eat. No one went hungry, no one went thirsty. So that was uh, a really 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 good. Um, well, 75th birthday party if you'd like. Uh, a lot of people there I didn't know because I haven't known Phil that long um, and neither did Andrew either he didn't know that many people there either but um, yeah uh, another thing I want to mention is uh, if you remember the uh, uh, in my in an earlier vlog I, I mentioned about a tap that broke off and I got the plumber in and it cost me 350 odd dollars to get the, the thing fixed well I was determined to fix that tap up and I found online a, uh, a tap set to cut the new thread so um, it took about a month to get it which was very slow but not to worry I wasn't in a great hurry and um, lo and behold I cut the thread and uh, I tried it on the uh, on the fitting and it, it will fit but I I, uh, I have to turn the water off to fit it properly because I've got to put new uh, plumbing tape around the uh, the thread where it goes so I had to put the uh, newer tap that I put I had but anyway I'll put a photo here of the um, of the uh, tool and the uh, the tap that I used in the tap and uh, if there's anything else I'll uh, talk about it after okay continuing on um, 
couple of uh, more things I want to want to speak about is one that the uh, Easter is coming up as as I've uh, said previously and of course you know what's going to happen don't you of course the fuel will go up to top dollar for the Easter break so you have to pay a lot more for your Easter holidays um, talk about um, price gouging and collusion of all the petrol companies all going up at the same time you can't tell me that they don't collude they do um, so yeah look out it will be two dollars a litre in the not too distant future so if you can make sure you fill up at uh, the cheaper price of a dollar sixty seven a litre and uh, hopefully I've helped someone out to save a little bit of money if they're going away for Easter on the news they were complaining about Rundle Mall which is our main shopping city shopping uh, CBD central business area or whatever um, where all the major shops are up Rundle Mall there if you don't know what it is we'll look it up I'm sure there's pictures somewhere of it Adelaide Rundle Mall and um, on the news it's, they're complaining about how many shops are um, are empty and uh, the right wing media will probably blame the government that's in power for it and uh, what they're not taking into consideration is the greedy landlords they're the ones who want more money and people just can't afford the rent not only do you have to sell enough to cover the rent got to sell enough to cover wages, you've got to sell enough to cover stock, you've got to sell enough to cover electricity and so on and so forth. So, you know, these greedy landlords, they're just um, cutting their nose off despite their face. You know, um, you just can't afford to pay the rents that are out there at the moment. It's just uh, disgusting. Um, you see, you see it over my my, um, my shopping centre as well. Um, every time they uh, they put up the rent in my shopping centre, all of a sudden everything goes up um, because they've got to cover the cover the rent. So. It, if you go to the, the food court, everything has gone up a dollar, two dollars, and stuff like that. I mean, it's disgusting. They're just greedy, and uh, Mano Para is having a, um, a facelift up the, uh, at the southern area, um, where they're doing a lot of work. Um, they're making a... Uh, um, a restaurant at the end there and uh, Cafe Primo is going to go in there and uh, just doing it up making I think even a playground there somewhere from memory heard something about the playground and uh, an outdoor eating area and such um, and of course you know, a lot of people say, well, um, yeah, that's going to be nice, but little do people realise that um, we're the ones who pay for it. Every, anyone that shops there is going to be paying for it. You don't think it comes out the owner's pocket? Of course it doesn't. Um, they just put the uh, rents up there, and uh, of course then they put the... Um, the price is up of your groceries and your, your, your takeaway food or whatever you buy there, or your beer, um, your groceries, everything. Uh, it's just a vicious circle. 
and uh, I mean it's going to be going to be nice when it's finished, but um, it's going to cost us, the people who shop there, uh, the money. So yeah, I just thought I'd uh, give you an update on stuff. Um, one thing I've learned over the years, motor vlogging, you never ever put um, vlogs up over Easter because a lot of people are away and they don't watch them. <laughs> you don't get the hits. Not that I get many anyway, because I'm not that great. But um, yeah, um, don't bother. Well, you can do them over Easter, but don't post them until Easter's over. So at least you get uh, people, more people to watch them and that. So yeah, bit of a tip. But anyway, uh, I think I've raved on enough. At the moment, this is uh, Bandit Neb on uh, some Moki the Suzuki Bandit, bidding you all very, very, very safe riding. Thanks for watching. And if you come, to, if you got to the end, well, you, you better, you're one of the better ones. And until next time, uh, cheers for now.